What's up, Kiva family? Today we are going to work on setting footwork. Footwork is something you all do not need a gym for. You can do this at home. First thing we're going to do is our footwork coming off of the net. So I need you guys to get creative at home. Go outside along your driveway, along the wall, along the garage door, wherever you can find, and set up three dots. Okay? You can use sweatshirts, t-shirts, anything you can find to set up three points. Right here you see we've got an orange. Behind me we've got a purple. Over there we've got a green. These are your three different spots you're going to use your footwork to go towards. So you're going to start up at the net. Imagine you have a net at home, whether this be the garage door or whatever it is. You're working on getting your hip around square back up to the target. Okay? So you'll go to the green first. I'm going to get all the way around. Left, right, step, and step. Coming back to my target point. Then I'm getting a ball that's passed off the net. So I'm going to get all the way around that purple. Left, right, step, and step. Going back up to target. Remember, my hips and shoulders are open up to my passing. Then I'm going to the orange, left, right, step and step. You can do this over and over, working on getting hips all the way around the ball and that transfer of weight back to target. So here's what it looks like in a second. Okay, you can get creative with how far away you put your points. The key is getting those hips all the way around the ball and that left, right, step and finish to target. All right, next setting footwork drill you guys are going to work on is going base to read and then running and slant stepping into that target point. We all struggle getting all the way back into that read position and getting up to the net quickly. So this is good for you guys to do over and over and work on that footwork speed. What you will do is start in a pretend base. Okay, you guys got to get creative in your driveway. Be in base, and you're going to go step, cross, hop, getting all the way back into a read position. From here, you're going to run all the way to the net. So I run and slant step into that target point. What we do not want to see you guys doing is just walking and turning. This is slow. Okay, you guys can be working on this footwork at home to get really quick and efficient with your steps. So you're going to go face the read, run and slant step into the target, and then you can go into using your footwork in that semi-circle that we talked about before. Here's what it looks like all together. Then I do it again. Back to face, step, cross, hop, transition. Slant step and set. All right, guys, now we're going to work on setting footwork when you toss the ball off the net for yourself. So, what you're going to do, pretend that you're at a net, okay? So, you're going to have your right shoulder and your right hip along a pretend net, and you're going to toss that ball off to your left side where you can work on getting that hip all the way square back up to target, okay? The key here is we're working on getting our hips and shoulders square to that target on the outside. So we're pretending that we're setting a ball to the outside. Here's what it looks like. Notice every single time I'm getting my shoulders and hips completely square up to that target. I am also taking the ball in my midline. So I'm not reaching out here to the left to try to set that ball. That means my feet are not all the way underneath it. You want to receive that ball over top of your forehead in the center of your body every single time. That's why you got to get those feet all the way underneath where your hips and shoulders are square. 